So I'm here at the ASA, Coleman. It's the Elite Pro-Am. I'm here with <coughs> Carl Douglas. He doesn't need uh, any introduction. Um, <laughs> I just decided to do like a quick interview with him. Um, he's become quite well known in uh, the last year or so. He won Vegas back to back, <coughs> Indoor Nationals. And uh, he also won a bunch of ASAs and the latest one is OBA, right? Well, yeah, last yeah. weekend. Um, yeah, I just wanted to do a quick interview with him. And um, yesterday you were 20th, right? 20th yesterday, yeah. yeah. You want to tell us about your day? Today, you had a good day? Today was way better, yeah. I, I started out 20th knowing I had to come up with a pretty good score today, even have a chance at, it, at the shoot off. Yeah. Um, just kind of came out swinging and gunning everything super hard and end up working out. I ended up 32 up for the day. Oh, so nice. I was pretty happy with that. Yeah. Yeah, I was shooting and then I didn't see his name. And then on uh, Target 15, when they rewrote the leaderboard, I saw his name there. So I was quite surprised to see it there. <laughs> he was like four targets down from the from the leading group. And um, yeah, I just want to talk about your, your setup a bit. I know you shoot a, uh, a thumb button mm -hmm. release. And um, how, like, do you have it quite like sensitive yeah it's super light okay yeah. light as I dare go with you know and, and keep it still safe not gonna misfire on me okay what's your kind of your process if you um, what's your process your shot process like can, can you explain it to us are you aiming steady or are you kind of like shooting when you getting close to the like how um, long do you hold it like I have a pretty quick shot I don't hold super long and basically my shot my sight picture fires the shot Okay. Um, so once my pin kind of settles down in the middle, I touch it off. So as soon as it settles down and stops in the middle, it doesn't always stop perfectly, but um, I don't get on it. Like I don't drive by, shoot it, and just slow okay. down and, and shoot. I make sure that it settles in the middle, and then fire from there basically. Okay. But usually it's the, the sight picture that the fire. As soon as my sight picture looks like what I want it to look like, boom, the shot's gone. Okay. And is it different when you're nervous? When you get not, really, no. not really, no. Um, I try and get it to where I'm not thinking about it as much. It's more of a subconscious trigger than it is, um, like, you know, thinking about it. I'm still commanding the release. It's not a surprise when it's yeah. going to go off, but okay. more of a surprise, like, when my brain tells the, the thumb to fire okay. type of deal. Um, when I'm shooting really good, you know, it's just it's going to float and float, and then kind of once it settles up, boom, it's gone. It's gone. Okay. Mm -hmm. And if you, like, shooting ASA, do you shoot, um, I haven't shot with you before, but... Um, do you shoot a lot of uppers or depends on the target? Um, I shoot a lot of uppers, yeah. Okay. Basically, I, I walk up to each target and look at it and see what one I think I have a better chance at. If I can see more definition on the target, aiming at one versus the other. If there's arrows in one or the other. Most of the time, I like the way the uppers look just because I can see more definition on the target, you know, the muscles and stuff. I tend okay. to be able to pick a spot a little bit easier than I do on the lowers. Okay. But if it's full on the upper or if there's like a dark spot on the lower or something like that, I'm not afraid to, to swap back and forth. And then um, your magnification on your scope? I'm shooting a six power lens. Six power? With a B clarifier. Okay. And what can you see? I know it was pretty dark today, but say like on a shoot off, can you see the like the bonus strings or? No, I mean maybe on like a you know, like a lighter tan target at a closer distance in bright sunlight I can see really good, but in the woods I can't see rings on yeah. them. No, I'm just picking okay. spots to aim off of like dark spots or muscles or like the core line or something okay. like that to go off All of. Right. And then um, your you shoot for Hamski. Um, mm -hmm. How do you do? You have any specific way you set your rest, um, or you just take it out of the box and you know tune it, or, or do you just play with the with the spring tension? A little Most bit? of the time, the spring tension comes pretty good out of the box. Sometimes, okay. if it's a little bit weak, I'll tighten it up at one hole or something. Okay. Um, I like a fairly stiff spring tension on there because I don't want that you know, collapsing underneath the weight of the arrow I at see. all. I want it real stiff coming up. Okay. Uh, the main thing I adjust is the timing on it. So where I tie it off on the limb, adjust the timing. Yeah. Um, the farther forward you move it on the limb, the sooner it's going to start to drop. The farther back on the limb, the later it's going to start to drop. So I, I wanted to start, just start dropping about halfway through my letdown. Or just a little bit in front of halfway through my letdown is usually when I want to start to go down. Okay. And then, um, you're shooting the X-cutters, right? The bolt tips? Uh-huh. Yeah. Right, I say, okay. yeah. Point weight? 140 up front on those. Okay. Um, I'd say they're cut about 24 and three quarters carbon to carbon, just a little bit past my uh, arrow okay. rest um, with pin bushings on the back and a big four fletch okay. on there. And the speed you're getting? Um, I think this bow is shooting like mid 280s right now, mid that's, to that's low 280s. So. Okay. 
And uh, I know what boat you should shooting, but I'm going to ask it anyway. <laughs> yeah, it's the, the Citation 36 SE okay. from PSC, yeah. Yeah, okay. Because I know you were shooting the Supra for a while. Yeah, it. last year I was shooting the Supra. I really like that boat. Citation is really good too. They're, they're all awesome bows. Yeah. I tend to like the Citation just a little bit better than the Supra though. Okay. Yeah, I think that's it. Um, thanks for the interview and answering yeah. our questions. And good luck with the shoot-off. Thanks, dude. All right. Okay, thank you.